why are so many people so negative against silver? Yet have no problem, nothing negative to say against savings accounts in a bank that pay, I don't even know anymore because I don't save in a bank anymore. What is it, point one percent, a point five percent, a half a percent interest rate? If you're lucky, like I said, I don't even know anymore. They have nothing negative to say about that, but have nothing positive to say for silver or gold stackers. People who rather save their money in the form of precious metals. Yeah, there's a chance that this value will not increase. I'll, I'll admit that, but I highly doubt that. And if you do a Google search of what silver was in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, you will find that incrementally it has traversed upwards. Yes, there's been dips, but overall the tra trajectory is an upward trajectory. When it comes to my retirement, there's a chance I might take all my silver and perhaps not make a whole lot of money. But what I'm trying to say is, I won't lose a lot either. I definitely won't lose any. Whereas money, the value of money constantly decreases. The purchasing power, what you can buy with it, how much, how many items you can buy with a certain am amount of dollars is constantly decreasing. Constantly. I urge everybody that has not purchased any silver to purchase at least one ounce one troy ounce of pure silver, a silver eagle for that matter, a Canadian maple leaf, a silver bar. Once you feel it in your hands, the density, the weight of such a small little item, the sound of it hitting the hitting a countertop or a wooden table, you know that 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 metal vibration, you will be convinced that it is something above and beyond a paper dollar. If I had my druthers, I would tell everybody the minimum, buy one ounce for starting, and if you get hooked, the minimum everybody should have is 200 ounces. The minimum. But then from there, the sky's the limit. I always tell everybody to add up all their debt. Whatever that may be. And at a minimum, if you can afford to, obviously I already said 200 ounces, but if you can afford to go over 200 ounces and you wanna know what the next level is, what the next goal is, I would say at least stack what will cover your debt. That's all. Have a good day.